Hello everyone, welcome back, it's Chuck Thunder, and we're back with another episode of our Let's Play series of No Man's Land, and we're going to catch you up with where we left off. We finished cutting down all those trees over on the left side there, next to this field, um, and we traded them all in, and they're getting about $3,000 per load. Um, I'm having a bit of an issue with where the place that I sell it to doesn't give me the money. Um, so, um, what I did do is I started going to um, the actual... Uh, base farm selling point in this game uh, save and started selling there and made a few thousand uh, per load doing that and then all the ones that I did drop off at the, um, the mill have been been turning into planks now I'm not gonna go and sell these for my own profit because I was thinking to myself like well hey you know that's great and all but that's not something that um, I want to do so what I'll do is once I reach a stack of 12 of these I'll use that as um, Potential for saying hey, here's the lumber needed to build Another business and that other business we're gonna build is going to be a uh, Grain mill because that's something that we're gonna want to do soon too is we're going to want to build a grain mill for when we start harvesting our fields because right now we are harvesting we're not harvesting our seeding right now for wheat um and i do have long-term plans to bale the straw and sell the straw as well and so my goal here is to have two very large wheat fields um this field or say very large this field and the next field but right now before we go and make this field any larger because i'd like to make this field just longer per se um, yeah, I'll probably just make it larger by just, just stretching it out all the way out to here, pulling it all the way until we reach just about, so there's the other field just about here, and then we'll stretch it all the way out to wherever our other field starts and stops, somewhere out over here. You know, and that's probably what we'll do. So, yeah. Yep, yeah. So, oh wow, it goes a lot further than I thought. But yeah, that's what I'll probably end up doing, but not with this first harvest. Um, maybe with the next harvest, since we've already started seeding this. I also went and realized that I had a seeding version, seed, a seeder that would only concede um, after uh, cultivating, and also didn't cultivate, so I found one that did. Um, so this one can also cultivate which is why I'm able to do this right now the direct seeding and the cultivating of this right here because normally you would have to cultivate the oil seed radish into the ground to get the fertilizer bonus so because I'm not doing that and I'm doing it with this as getting both the bonuses and so the only thing is that this fertilizer does not this um, seeder doesn't have fertilizer attached to it so we got the first fertilizer state with the oil seed radish but we're going to need to fertilize a second time um, with our um, we're going to need to fertilize with something over top, and we'll probably fertilize with this guy because we have liquid fertilizer, or sorry, not liquid, granular fertilizer right here um, that we'll probably use with the, wherever it is, oh, there it is, with this guy. And then, if we get weeds, we will use this along with our own fertil or, uh, pesticide here, herbicide to kill that. And then... We have this trailer here sitting here now. This trailer can be converted into other things. Um, this was going to be my logging trailer, so we can now move it on up to different capacities. We'll do it as we need, different sizes. So right now, the cheapest would be to go with the basic 8500. We don't have to cost anything, and we'll just do that to start. And then if we find that we need to have more space, then we will do so. Also, we've been earning, like I said, we earned a little bit of money for that. Um, uh, about and when I get to those 12 pallets, we'll build the grain mill. And then the rest of the pallets, we will just sell off um, to the sell point. Um, and we'll, we'll claim the money for that because we brought them a lot of logs. We bought them half a forest worth of logs. And we earned money for what we did bring to the... Um, situation and we didn't earn money for the other half so that's why I'm thinking we might as well reap the benefits of planks as well so while well, that's being produced and this is being done there's not much else I need to do right now I mean I could take on some other duties um, 
Do I need? I don't need to do anything with this guy at the moment. Nothing here to be done. Um, I don't know why I have the three point. I might sell this, but we'll just hold on to it. Um, I don't need to do anything else. I don't think right now. He's just doing this, and as soon as he's done here, we're gonna go over to the other field and we're gonna start seeding the other field. Um, we do need a baler at some point. We're gonna need a machine. We might just continue logging. Um, that's also a possibility just to uh, clear out the rest of those woods there because I like those but those I don't really care for and we'll take the benefits of more money from that as well um, that's a possibility plus now that we got $45,000 we may want to invest in a, um, a few better tools and things see what we can eventually invest in here Oops. So these are the new mods that I went and downloaded. We could we could get uh, you're relatively cheap and you come with a five and a half foot header. That's cool. What else could we get here? We really have like everything we need to really just start doing stuff the fast bail I don't know what makes it the fast bail is it really fast I don't know but that may be something we pick up 150 horsepower for our tractor we can handle that so it's like what's on sale logging materials see here's the one that I bought it was on sale um no, maybe I didn't buy that one. That was the one that I initially had, and then I sold it. <clears throat> and now it's on sale for used because I used it. Um, Mac truck, a man truck. I mean, can't be Mac man truck. Not that we need that. And here we have a cedar that we would never be able to use, and a slurry machine. Yep, and a bower. Seriously, you're done? You didn't do anything? Get back in here. We need a seed. Okay. Do you how did you plant if you can't plant now? I'm very confused. There we go. that up and then we'll do the other side we'll go get more seeds too while we're at it before we do the next field get more seeds filled in and we'll go start the next field so yeah we're going to do wheat <coughs> off of that field too I, I could switch it up and do like oats or something just to have something different but we'll do wheat we'll start from this side See how it goes. Well, whatever. That's a start. So I'll let you do that. We're going to need a fertilizer state soon so we will go ahead and do this and get you set up for for that 
We'll get the fertilizer put in. Probably gonna need more fertilizer and nope, it's using limestone. And I don't want limestone. I want fertilizer. Just doing limestone again. So annoying. Now you're doing fertilizer. Okay. I like that it holds a whole pallet. Now, the question is, is if I do this now, will I get another fertilizer state on top? I want to say I will. Yeah, it seems that's the case. Let's check the map. rolling. Yeah, no, that's working. So that's cool. It's not a bad spread for a little machine, really. It'll do it relatively quickly, moving at 12 miles an hour, so. Yeah, no problem. We only used 10. Well, this will last us a good while. May even get us to the next field. May even use... I mean, you'll not even use it all this field very much. If that took 10 to go across, I'm assuming it's going to take 10 to go across again. 10 liters. Let's see. Just about. Yep, just about. So, yeah, we'll be alright. Alright, good. It's, it's doing the job. We can clean up the edges at the end. This is what I get for making a field myself. But, you know, fields are never perfect when you do them yourself. Especially if you don't have anything to square you up and you're not using, like, GPS systems and all that other stuff. So, yeah, you're doing your job. So, yeah, that's about what we're going to do right now. I'm t debating if I want to chop down more trees just to clear the space. I might just go chop them all, and then over time I'll just remove them. Especially after the seeding is done because I'll need to transport them. Uh, this guy is going to be working for a good while doing this in the next field once I get him over there. So that's probably what I'll do. Oh, good. What? You have not completed your task. You stop that. Five percent for that field. We'll definitely be okay to do the rest of this field. We're just obviously going to wait um, until this field is done being serviced by the seeding machine, which means that I can, since this is the closest, start chopping down some trees. Because once this is clear, then we could use this space here for. I don't know, animals, <clears throat> potentially. We're going to leave all the stumps here. I don't bother with these little trees. I just remove them. They're not worth their money and effort to pick them up and do all that. Stumps too while we're at it. Yep, alright, keep it going. Chop it up. So, I'm not going to make you guys watch all of this again. This is just kind of the plan for the fields here. Maybe what I'll do, because those, those planks are just about done, um, we might, we might, um, just kind of like 
imagine that I got those 12 pallets. So I'm just to start picking out. We're going to put a grain mill right now. So let's, let's do that. So I kind of want to be the one that produces my own grain. Like, I just can't afford a grain mill at the moment. Production. Ninety six thousand can't afford the green mill at the moment. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to afford. Yeah, so it's gonna have to be owned by the other business, and that's fine. Maybe when we have enough we'll make our own and we can bypass it all together but for right now we are going to switch back to the other farm and let's imagine what that's going to look like so here is our sawmill and we could put it right next to it, or we could treat it as though this is like a main road right here, going towards that way. It's all uphill over there. This is where all the flattening areas are, so we're going to build a road up this way. So let us do the road first. Dirt road is good. All right, so let's change the brush size. We'll go ahead and paint that just like this. And there's our main road. And we have our green mill. We'll put it right here. Overlaps another object. Freeze. Well, that's frustrating. I went right there. Awfully close to the road, but it'll do. Maybe we'll uh, put some fences here. Oh, that's how fences work. That's pretty dope. Pretty cool. I had no idea that's how fences worked. Oh, and they snap? Oh, this is beautiful. That's beautiful. I love it. Alright, cool. So we just went and protected that space up there. So we have our grain mill now. The Golden Field Grain Mill. We could rename places, right? Yeah, can, right? Can't rename this one. Okay, it's just the sawmill. But this one we can rename. And we're going to name this one <coughs> Gina Grain Mill. Gina's Grain Mill. Now, we have a production facility for the green mill. And how much more are we looking at here? Cool. So we have a green mill going. So we can start producing flour. <coughs> but no bakery. So right now, we they heard that we're growing some wheat. And they wanted to have a production facility here. So they went and built it. The sawmill is the uh, construction site as well they kind of uh, run the construction business around here they create all the wood planks and the wood that this needed to construct the rest of our businesses so we are going to start with that we're going to switch back to our other farm and 
he's coming along, but this one's going to need some more time still. About halfway done. <clears throat> and we're going to continue cutting down trees. So even if we don't end up using all the trees right now, we're cutting all, I mean, moving them, we'll at least cut them all down so that they're out of our way. And we can start to imagine what our locations are going to look like. So let's just go ahead and cut down all these little tiny guys that I'm not going to bother selling. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> we need these trees. Now you might be saying, oh, well, if you cut down so many, you would have gotten so many for them. Absolutely. But I don't know if it's really worth it to the lumber mill to have them. The, the sawmill, sawmill guy says, yeah, I'll buy your logs, but he can't produce planks from things like this. He can produce splinters from things like that. Oh, yeah, we got a few more right here. <clears throat> Lots of tiny trees. Getting there. Couple more, three more, four more. Okay, and one more to go. That's all the tiny trees. <coughs> And usually when I cut down trees, two to three trees fit on the truckload, so we got one t one truckload down already. One, two, three, another truckload there. One, two, three, that's another truckload, that's three, four, five, maybe six truckloads. Seven if we're trying to be light about it. So we'll be all right. We'll go ahead and start cleaning up some tree branches, and we'll probably pick up in the next episode um, when all of this is done, because there's really no reason for me to go through all of this. Well, now you want to work. You walked down the whole thing, and then you didn't work the entire time. There we go. Yeah, we might end the episode here, because we just know that no one needs to see me cut down logs by hand and then transport them. I don't have any major plans at the moment other than to get these trees out of here. And then, um, fertilize, you know, and then we're going to wait. And then we're going to have to weed the fields when the fields become ready to be sprayed with herbicides. So, it's likely the route we're going to be going. Or we don't have, we don't have, um, come on, there we go. We don't have... Oh, what's this? Oh, this is the tree that I thought maybe I'd use, but... There you go, it's gone. <coughs> so, yeah, um, yeah, we don't have field stone on, and we don't have periodic plowing on, but we do have limestone on. So, we'll, we'll, we will get weeds that we will have to treat, but that is about it. Um... <clears throat> so yeah, you guys aren't going to miss much here. I'm just going to get these trees all knocked um, and taken care of. And we'll come back after I have gotten to uh, all these trees cut down and sold and this field fertilized and uh, we're waiting for the growing season. That's probably where we'll pick up after the first uh, couple growth stages because it was pretty much a waiting game at this point because I, I don't want to spend money just yet until we have to so we'll probably fast forward a couple of seasons a couple of a couple of months after this is done to get to the growing season so we'll check in with you guys at that time i do appreciate everyone stopping by it's been great it's chuck thunder thanks for watching